everyone welcome to our channel today on the hillbilly files i am out in the middle of nowhere in a little tiny place called crumb west virginia way back on top of a mountain to bring you guys a lost lives story now I'm up here. I was actually up here. I came up. There's another grave right down here that we came up to do a story about today. But there was someone else that's here that we wanted to tell you guys about. Someone else we wanted you to meet. Right here. Now this one, as you can see, is an older one and it's in pretty rough shape so I brought a little light to kind of see if it'll help any should help a little bit the letters are pretty decent but it's really old Tenny Step born June 15th and died April 9th 1912 And baby Millie in the dawn of the morning we shall meet again. I was born in Wayne County in West Virginia in 1895. Her parents are William Cotton Hill Bill Markham and Millie Delphia. Copley. She was 14 in the 1910 census, living with her parents and one brother named Wayne. On May 10, 1911, she married Morgan Stepp. She's listed as being 16, but she was clearly younger. He was 22. After a few months of marriage, she became pregnant. She wanted to name the baby after her mother, Millie, and that was the plan. On April 11th, at 16 years old, Tenny died trying to deliver her daughter, Millie. They are both buried here in one grave. Morgan went on to remarry and have other children. He died in 1977 at 89 years old. What a short life for Tenny and Millie versus a long life for Morgan. Life really isn't fair sometimes. Millie's brother, Wayne, is also buried here. Wayne had five children. A single birth was first, but then he had two sets of twins. Brady and Grady were the first set, and then Millie Ruth and Millie Ruth's brother Ray passed a month after birth. So he also named one of his children after his mother. Wayne was known as a bit of a rambler, is the term used to explain him by his family. When he died at 63, there was no physician in attendance, but his symptoms were that he died of cerebral hemorrhage. Wayne's father, William Cotton Hill Bill Markham, had an unusual death. In the Big Sandy News, August 21st, 1931, it states, kicked by a mule, Wayne Mann dies. William Markham, 78, well-known farmer near Crum, Wayne County, was instantly killed last Saturday when he was kicked in the head by his mule, according to information received here last week. Mr. Markham was turning his mule into pasture when the animal wheeled and kicked him. The blow sustained fractured his skull and caused immediate death. Funeral services were conducted Sunday and his body was interred at the Markham Cemetery at Crum. A large crowd attended the rites. But as wrote by his family, Bill rode a mule everywhere he went. He and the mule were pretty good friends. But one time, when he let the mule back into pasture after a day of riding, Bill wasn't quick enough to get out of the way of the mule, and it was kicking up his heels in freedom and excitement. And that's when it hit Bill in the head, causing his death. Mm -hmm. 
wife, Millie Delphia Copley, was born in 1870. It is said that Millie was a large lady and she loved cleanliness. She would get on her hands and knees and scrub the floors until they were white and perfect. She was also a really good cook. No one's been able to pinpoint her exact death date, but it's said that she died living here on Cotton Hill. Rest in peace, Tenny, Millie, and everyone else mentioned. Meet again. Now this is one that we wanted to bring you guys out here and show you this and tell you a little story. <laughs> 